We go first. What craziness is this? What insanity have we walked into? Well, you guys have walked into Tipo's corner, and I'm Travis, and we've got a new deck, and I call it the Hurt Locker. And the intent is we want to put the enemy in the Hurt Locker, but we'll see how the deck performs. Maybe it will be reversed. And we already missed a land drop. Just great. Stick it to me, Arena. Is my opponent not doing any better? So we're we're equally in trouble. Yeah, but you can't shoot bright multicolored streams of light out your butt, so I think I'm doing slightly better. Okay, I just need you to put something down so I can destroy it, really. That's all that I need. What's in your book here? Anything? It doesn't want to open for me. It just moves, that's it? What a useless book. You're supposed to be magic. All you can do is float? Lame. Look what I can do. It's like a cheerleader. Is he twerking? Great. Arena's decided to get not give either one of us any more lands, so it's just my infantry guy that's going to hit you for <laughs> 20 turns. Ridiculous. Alright, well remember to like and subscribe. We'll go in and show you the entire deck and the, the idea behind it. And I did uh, a couple of videos recently with uh, Hurt in the name, so I'm just choosing to keep with it. I had uh, Still Doesn't Hurt with the Double Strikers, and I had uh, When I Die It Hurts You. So now this one is called The Hurt Locker. And... Alright, so it's mostly red with a splash of black, and I needed black to do Enthrall to the Pit, because I want to kick the cost. You can gain control of the target creature, you untap it, gain haste, so you can go and hit the opponent with it, and then you sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Most of the, the red and black take control cards don't have the sacrifice feature built in, so you usually have to have some other mechanism to sacrifice it. Uh, and I, what I did was I just for, I would forego that other ability within this deck to sacrifice the creature. So I'm just using Enthrall to the Pit, I need it to have 7 mana so I can afford the kicker cost. And that way it's just a built one and done sacrifice card. To help me with the rest of this, I got to uh, play with fire, I got three strangles, I got one unlucky witness, I got four abrades, uh, just, just decided to go full abrade in case they have a bunch of artifacts, one electrostatic infantry, one obliterating bolt, one obsessive astronomer so I can trigger the day and nighttime type stuff, one overhead helm. If my hand is empty, I could sacrifice this guy and then uh, draw three cards. Shrapnel s Slinger. Say that three times fast. I can destroy a target artifact. And usually I'll just sac sacrifice the Slinger itself to do that. I've got Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Uh, pro two professional face breakers. And one mechanized warfare uh, enchantment. If a red or artifact source you control deals damage to an opponent. A war permanent opponent controls. It deals that much damage plus one instead. And I only have one copy right now, but this is the, the card basically that made me think of the Hurt Locker name. We've got four circuit meters to give us life and draw cards. We've got Celestis along with uh, the Obsessive Astronomer to do some card draw, trigger the day night. The four enthralls to the pit to take control of whatever they try and throw at me. And this is a good uh, thing to counter the new Phyrexian Obliterators. And by new, I mean reruns from the, the first time they came out. Um, but yeah, the, the Phyrexians are back, the Obliterator's back. And uh, if I can get up to 7 mana and take it, then uh, it's on my side for a turn. We've got a, one copy of Pyrrhic Blast where I can sacrifice a creature and deal damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to any target and then draw a card. For flying, I have four Dragon Whelps that we can pump up with red mana for fire breathing effect. 
two of the Elder Dragon Wars, so it activates as kind of like a two damage uh, board wipe. And then I get a, get a dragon. 4-4 four, four flying dragon at the end. And two board wipes. One burn down the house and one temporal firestorm. And these are good because they uh, work against planeswalkers as well. For the trick lands, I've got an autonomous furnace and a lot of dual lands and four trimway stations in case the game lasts long and I can start sacrificing land just to draw some cards. Because you can get to a mid-game where it kind of stalls out. So, I'm not sure how many more hurt things I have left. This may be it. We'll see what my next deck idea is. Wherever you are, I hope your day is going well. We are here for the entertainment. We are here to get a break from the rest of the world for a couple minutes. And see if we can get some good car play going. Ogre Head Helm's a nice 2-2-2 two, two, two drop that makes good tests to see if they have removal. And the Circuit Menders, we really don't care if they get rid of the Circuit Menders, right? We're not going to do that yet. We have too much in the way of future potential spells here. No reason to throw things away just yet. So we're up against the wolves, are we? Let's start with flyers, I guess. And yeah, we can attack with that. The wolves can build up fast, so you kind of have to take advantage to be aggressive in the early stages if you at all have the opportunity. Uh, did I mention they can build up fast? Look at that. Already matching us. Okay, let's do Circuit Mender, and we'll go ahead and fly over the head and hit him for three. I'm going to start getting stuff back with Paxon Pup. Get rid of our flyer. And they still have yet another cheap spell, and they can destroy a circuit mender with that if they have just one mana. And they're already willing to get the life back. I'm kind of happy they're willing to trade that early instead of getting up to a 4 4 or a 5 5. Okay, and what do we want to do with this? Do we want to push our luck? Let's go ahead and just continue as we are for now, I guess. Let's put down the face breaker. And attack. Should be willing to trade with Ridge Wolf. I'm hoping he does. Because then we get a draw card. Great, thank you. That probably means he likes what cards he has there, though. Just a replacement. Okay. The astronomer comes out. And why not? Phyrexian Dragon Engine. And if he wants to block, he's going to have to block with both. He does not, which gives me a treasure, which I love. Uh, 
and the werewolf deck does not have a board wipe. I don't feel like throwing away my burn down the house. He got rid of my face breaker. Disgusting. Okay, what do we do against this? Let's do that. Four, five, six. So we're not going to use that as a board wipe then. We'll do it this way. We'll just attack with everybody. They've used up all their ammo. I'm going to keep my enthrall to the pit. I just need them not to put down a hexproof creature. War of Attrition, I should win out because we're going to kick this. We're going to take the Weaver, and the Weaver won't be around after this turn. And now he can't afford to attack me. And if that makes you think you can, you were sorely mistaken. Unless you have a way to get rid of the devils. Maybe he's just doing a final hurrah because he knows he can't do anything more after this. Yep, he knew. Alright, that worked out. That worked out well. We finally got the cards dealt in the right order. My playtesting was bad because I kept getting the enthrall card really early. But that we had it just at the right time with the right amount of mana. The deck's probably not as consistent as I'd like it to be just because of that kind of variation. I've got four copies of the Enthrall card. Makes it likely to pop up earlier. But I did try and do better than I've done in the past in terms of having one and two and three drops ready. Rather than focusing on all of the big cards. And we'll get rid of you now before you get bigger. Zombie decks often pummel you to death specifically because they get this champion out and he's left alone for a couple rounds too often. Okay, we'll put out the unlucky witness. Got three colors already. Um, let's try Circuit Mender. No counter spells. No counter spells. No counter spells. Yay! I've got more life. I'm automatically winning. Woohoo! First blood is mine. Uh oh. That could be a problem. Um, he's tapped out, so we'll use all of our mana. And hit while we can. If he gets out something like a haughty gin and has protection, we could be in a world of hurt. But we do have an abrade. And I don't really care if he duplicates the decayed stuff. <laughs> he puts his security bike out 
bypass on a decayed zombie. Okay, this is gonna be fun. He's mine. You can't block. My card. I get to connive. Um, what do I throw away? I guess I throw away the land? I don't want to put a plus one counter on them. And they lose the security bypass. Oh, that's, that's a good time for Enthrall to be early. That was sweet. Only in the games I play is somebody going to put a, a security bypass on a decaying zombie. And only in the decks that I counter create is it going to work <laughs> for me to foil it. And he's still going to do it again. But what good does it do for you to connive that thing? You just got a bunch of... It's just decayed zombies with a bunch of one-drops? That's your battle plan? That can't possibly work, can it? <laughs> yeah, it did not work. <laughs> that can't have been his full strategy. I think he just didn't get the real creatures that he wanted. He was probably just uh, making do with what he had. Maybe he thought the champion was still going to be around after the first turn. Let's go again. Our Hurt Locker is living up to its name in our favor. I've been playing Arena too long. I can't be optimistic about this. I know it's going to end any any round now. But I feel like we've already demonstrated the deck in the Enthrall card and how we can use it in a couple of different ways now. Early, full kicker value. We'll do one more. I only have two professional face breakers right now. I think I need to do some more quick drafts with Nuka Penna. Uh, for those who are new, we're, we are a free to play account. We're under an additional artificial constraint. We don't use our wild cards to fashion any cards that we're missing. Um, so if, uh, if we do get a Patreon request to play a specific deck, I'll burn wild cards for that. Uh, but I want to make sure if you've got like 20 mythic rares or something in your deck that I don't have, I'm, I'm able to actually craft those without breaking a sweat. So we're stockpiling our wild cards, which makes it a little bit more difficult for us than, than it would be for you to go up and make some of these decks. But that's also part of the, the goal is for the newer players to demonstrate we can make nice decks out of just the resources that we have without necessarily having to spend a ton of money. And do we have to worry about artifacts against the wolves? I don't think so. So I've got four braids total, so we should be good in case they've added an artifact in. They paid wizards paid really good attention when making the Innistrad decks to create all these mana sinks for the wolves so that they would have something to do with their mana if they didn't want to do anything for a turn and shift it to nighttime. They made it really beneficial, really working to make sure that the werewolves could get to night and they'd still be able to actually conduct some sort of activity. So there's all sorts of mono sinks. Even with the Snarling Wolf, you can only activate it once each turn, but that's, that's enough for them to still use most of what they have in the early rounds. And still have a big kind of effect. Yeah. They almost have that when they need it, don't they? And they're already hurting. And all he basically had was two creatures and a wolf strike. This would be a fair trade, at least. I 
You can't have your draw an extra card at this stage. And that puts him at a 2 2. That's fine. He's got all the cheap cards out, which means he's mostly out of ammo. Still gonna get to draw a card. So we've got another trade off. Thanks to the synergies of the werewolf deck. I could use another land. A land would be useful right now, actually. So I could empty my deck and maybe attack with the overhead home. And I got a strangle, which is fine, I guess. Put down this. I don't need to sacrifice anybody. We can put down this. And we'll just get rid of the wolf now. That's a bit of a problem. He could sacrifice this to take out the Equipment Ogre anyway, so... Let's just stop the oversized stuff. And Helana is a pain, so Helana goes away. And now we're mostly top decking. I still need two more lands. I fight for everyone who fears the encroaching night. And they're Attack pumping that when up. they're most vulnerable. Okay. I've got double strike. So that works for me. So have you get a land? Excellent. Patience, my kin. And they're gonna let it pass tonight. Leaving me not much else to do other than attack. And... Yeah. That's all I can do. They can't create the wolf creatures, but they can attack me for five. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're still okay with that, right? Because I can bring him in next turn. And they don't attack, they just pump him up instead? That's a mistake, I think. You're going to burn all your mana to draw a card? Okay, land is good. We're going to bring this creature back now. All we'll be able to do is take out the Planeswalker. But let's take action and draw three cards. Holding our own. Dawn approaches. I must go. And we're at seven lands, so whenever we get an infall card, we can use it on anything else that comes our way. Strangle gets rid of you. They are not sacrificing any lands yet. I think I'm ready to start doing it myself. Yep, there we go. You can spare it. You got seven lands. I can spare this in the meantime. Celestis. Okay, so if we do this, that gives me the Astronomer. Let's put down the Celestis first. Now I can switch things back if I need to. 
You were flooding out. And we're done. Now anytime I don't feel the need to flip it, I can. And you're using up all of your little, that's two of the slashes, right? And one wolf strike. Okay. We will take that thing. We will hit your face with that thing. And that thing will be sacrificed. And my spell power and my land is matching up precisely these days. And that gives him an extra draw. What did you find? I found another one of those. Ah, but he played two cards. Uh, we're going to decline that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use this on you. So you can't bring down anybody for cheap. We attack with you for two, and you get sacrificed. Still holding our own. He can get first strike, yes. That is a problem for us. One. Oh, he's got a lot of land. Shoot. How much can he pump that up for? One, two, three, four. He can do seven points of damage. What can I do? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I could do 12 with the wealth. It's not enough. I can maybe afford to wait one turn. If that's a land, that was worth... Ah, oh, just another land. Okay, so if I do this... Take action, and all I did was get yet another land. That was kind of messed up. Heck of a time to flood out. Okay, let me decline there. I'm not going to have four line draws in a row, am I? Yeah, I'm going to have to block here anyway. You didn't need to spend all your time doing that. Elder Dragon War. Get into the blocker. Um, go ahead and trigger. And the land. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 lands. And now he's got a second attacker. Yeah, once you have that much... Yeah, you got first strike. You're fine. I need a board wipe. That's not a board wipe, but... Three... This'll work. I'm taking you. I'm gonna activate your ability. I'm gonna hit you. Five points of damage, and it goes away. 
Back to top decking. But he's got the draw card advantage now, whereas I'm kind of in the dark sometimes on what I'm going to get. But we will do that when we know we have land. We can take out the Snarling Wolf. They're just burning their mana to burn their mana. It doesn't do any good to pump them up on my turn. But the Mechanized Warfare should let me do three points to the Wolf if he can't do anything to pump it up. He can still give it Trample, so he can get two card draw, but that doesn't give it First Strike or anything. Is he just... he's trying to figure out how to burn the rest of his mana. Okay, you're just wasting time. He can use Tovalar's Target Wolf or Werewolf and give this guy plus X. Such riveting content. All you have to do is go to your turn. You could even target Tovalar himself. If you want to. There you go. You figured it out. Every land he gets actually helps him to do extra damage right now. There you go. And that's lethal. Probably no matter which way I do it, right? He didn't pump it up. Why didn't you pump up the wolf? I think he's playing with his food. <laughs> Get another lucky witness. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not the best. Not the best against three. Okay, there we go. And I guess we go ahead and put him down. Yeah. I was figuring there'd be another land in there. We finally blew it on that. Put Unlucky Witness down because it gives us a choice of two cards. They're both lands, great. Okay, but we do manage to go ahead and do this. Still getting stuff. I guess we go ahead and get rid of this and thin the land out of our deck. Yeah, that was going to be another land. gives him plus two plus two so I have to block yet again but it gives him trample so he's finally got me yep we're done okay we fought a good fight it was a long extended fight about a minute longer than it had to be with him roping for no reason but yeah that was still kind of fun that's I'm not sure how to mix up the deck we'll go in and show it to you one more time I feel like we stall out when the game lasts too long and I haven't figured out 
the right card to slip in there. I've been trying to stick with basically mono red and just keep the black in there for the kicker cost on the Thrall card. But the Thrall card did help us to survive for a long time. And uh, i got to admit, this did better than in my playtesting because um, I, I stopped getting this too early most of the time, getting multiple copies, eating up, you know, slots in my hand for too long being useless. But so maybe Shrapnel Singer could go. Uh, maybe Obsessive Astronomer is not the proper card there. Maybe I need to fit in some kind of uh, additional card draw more than just the Tramway Stations and the Celestis. Uh, even though that did help us as well. On our correct guesses, we were able to filter through a lot of the land and still get to useful cards. So I don't feel too bad about the deck. And I don't feel too bad about keeping it with that name. So we'll keep it there. We got... Still doesn't hurt when a diet hurts you in Hurt Locker. What's the next one going to be? We'll find out. But in the meantime, you guys, thanks for tuning in. That's it for now. Have a good one.